finally after a very long weekend and tons and tons of orders, finally had some time to do a little. So I'm on the tail end of my Jaguar stuff. Um, I'm down to these two CDs not working, but I think I can at least get one to work. So I know for a fact that this, which is a connection, it goes in there. This doesn't work. I don't, I don't know why. I would assume one of these little fuses here, these little R's, must be the issue. So it definitely, I'm assuming it's fixable. So um, see this one. So let's go back for a second. So you gotta do. Let me just get it all set up here. So you need two power adapters. There's two different kinds of the power adapter: the white label and the black label. But either can be used. I don't have time to get back to this, but this is my little last project of the day, so we'll just play around with that. Let's get some let's get some more little wire out there. Since I get to go up there more. So I need, I'll do a little live stream while I'm doing this while I just try to figure it out. But I've come down to just I know what they're about now, so that's the fun part. So let's take one apart again and I'll show you what I mean. I found it where my dilemma is, but I think I can get it. I've already determined that this is the problem because one didn't work at the Jaguar CD when put in here. It gives you a different kind of boot screen other than just having a Jaguar by itself. So originally there was one that would not do anything, no boot, certain boot screen. So I figured for the heck of it, I would swap these out. And when I did that, that one worked. And then the other one that did work didn't. So I'll pretty much troubleshoot 101. That should be the issue. So that means it's good and bad. A is I don't know where I'd probably find one. But it doesn't matter. I'll probably just end up selling this one for parts. But without the lens. Because now I'm down to I can't get the lens to work yet. So let's pull this apart again. All right, so let me show you the inside. This this is your sensor. There's a little there's a little toggle switch here, and there's a little teeny teeny push button with a spring on it. It's right there. I lost it once, and then I found it again. But yeah, so when you close the door, it hits that sensor, which activates the, the activates that. So. One or two. I may just sell like this as a replacement. Some maybe if somebody has one that's broken, they sell it. And then I'm probably going to sell this separate. I'm not sure. I like to mix it up. I never sell the same thing. Same. So anyway, so that this comes off, which it gives it its own cartridge slot. But for some reason. This one's not working. And when I swapped, one that didn't work now works, and the one that worked doesn't. And it's all contingent on that, that piece there. So this I would sell is fully working. However, I can't say fully working because I never had it fully working. But I'll sell it. I think I will. I'm not positive yet. Because overall, these things are, you know, in, in the hundreds, even a parts one is a few hundred dollars. So, so this comes off. This comes off. So I'm taking the CD out is what I'm doing now. Because that's where I'm down to. I'm trying to get one good one working. I'm pretty sure I can. Again, without any... Um, any knowledge of... So there's a little clip on either end here. And this comes out. You can't get it out until you get underneath here. So that I figured out too. So it's like anything else, you gotta take it all apart to figure out what's going on. But now I completely understand. Well, not completely, but I understand I'm so much better now. So even this I would sell for, yeah, for, for um, So most likely, although when I had this and and that, it was spinning. So I haven't quite. So let's go back to where 
not mad here. So anyway, this also has the, the POT adjustment right here. So it may be a matter of just adjusting this a little bit, try to get it to read it to work. Best case scenario, that they both work. And then I can sell this as work. I haven't done that for yet. One or two. Let's fire it up again here. So this requires both power adapters. And you can use a white label or the black label one. I found that either or doesn't make a difference. But you have to have them both in. Because <coughs> the screen will show you that you're missing one. So, I spent a lot of time on these. They're only for fun. Worst 3D graphics ever. But. Back then, that was it was a very awkward time. It was really awkward when it wasn't quite 3D graphics yet. Really box. And the only game I have now is Cybermorph. This one. And this is the worst game ever. It's so bad. So this will turn on if there's a cartridge or this is in place. You won't. It won't turn on if I pull this off and I don't put a cartridge. That doesn't come up. But with this in by itself, it has a separate boot screen. I gotta find it. Oh, hold on a second. I got one of the switch boxes over here. I just can't remember which one it is. Maybe they don't have plug in. Oh, I plug it in? No, I didn't plug it in. Hold on. Not quite there yet. So this is an original Jaguar. The audio video. I test it in the RF. So I got an RF. So, so I'm down to that's try to find one of them. Good luck with that. Impossible. So unless I can fix the ones I have. I'll look around like the Ally Express or something. There we go. Alright, so here we go. So let's shut this up. So this has its own boot screen. I'll show you the difference. Hold on. It does a few different things. So I was asking for the power over here. Uh, I guess this power adapter is not really in there, right? That's one thing it'll do. There it goes. So if you don't have the power adapter in on the Jaguar, Give you a screen here. See, 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 it's flashing. You gotta put this in. And then if we, hold on, let me just put this back in here for a second. And they're both just—they're just nine volts, so you can use any sort of. I actually have an extra adapter that was not original that I can use. That's just. I'm going to show you the boot screen. So this, the way it is now, that's the Jaguar boot screen. Now, so if I take this off, and then if I don't have a cartridge in it, if I didn't have this, nothing's going to happen. See, it doesn't come on, because you need this. Always want to blow in the end before you put them in. Just what you need. Just, I do it every time, no matter what. So this is the regular screen. However, if you get it red screen, that's not good. Red screen means it's not reading it. So, so that's with. This is the worst game ever. Oh, it's so bad. Cybermorph. All right. All right. So we know. I know this fully works. This is where I'm at now. Back to my conundrum of problem, and it, it doesn't spin. But I, I had it spin. I'm gonna actually not even gonna try to. I gotta take it apart again because I know I put the disc in, nothing happened. So we're gonna have to go to plan B on this one or C. One of those. One. Eventually, I'll probably. I'm gonna just sell this like this as a replacement shell because it's really nice. Because I like breaking things down because I sell parts, so if I can tear something down, I'll sell it separate. It's just what I do. So let's. I 
again, like I said, I know. I'm not positive though. I can't say I know positive. But what I'm probably end up doing is this, if I can get one to work, then I can swap this board out because it's pretty easy. And then we test it. Once I get one, I can play the game with the CD working and everything. I can swap a board out and then sell this as a working board. One of the two. It's like there's a chip that comes off right there. Well, that's what they look like inside. So that's your, these are your three main pieces. That's the piece that, on, that doesn't work. Which goes there. It goes this way. And then there's that. <clears throat> and the lens. So let me take this one apart because I'm going to try to test it. I thought I had it. <clears throat> but it didn't. So we're going to take it apart again. You really can't test anything unless it's too apart. Put it all back together and it doesn't work. Get you nowhere. So you wanna, I'm going back to taking it apart. It's just regular Phillips head screwdrivers that are in here. But like I said, I spent. I think it was Sunday. I spent all day on these things trying to figure them out. I rebuilt this. Not rebuilt, I just put it back together. It's not really a rebuild. So, I'm on the tail end of these. Again, if you look at these CDs on Just a CD on eBay, it's really expensive. And I bought all this stuff really expensive at one point. But I sold off most of it as, as I always do. I got a couple empty boxes. That'll work a little bit. So I get stuff like that. Alright, so right in here. Let me get me a bag now. So the whole, <clears throat> all the controllers. I just sold the white label power supply this morning. So eventually I'll sell everything. And I really know just about done with it, so I'm not gonna need to keep one for any reason. Because obviously I wouldn't be playing. Yeah, raw games. I'm gonna try to find anything different. Although, let's try the, the CD one. All right, so this is the main part right here. This little thingy right here. This. I almost lost one already, but I, I still got them both. You can add that. I would sell just like that, and it wouldn't be cheap either. Mm, terrible. All right, so let's go back to what I was gonna do. I'm gonna not use this right now. Because I can test it. Add There's a switch right here. But I think the disc gets in my way. That's my problem. I could probably hit it with my finger over here. Because what I want to do is test it off of there. Without that other cup. I got I got it to spin, but then when I put everything back together, it didn't spin again. And you want to make sure this thing gets locked in there. Because it, it, it doesn't. It won't work. So I gotta get there, I gotta get power back into it. So basically it was still the same, just I took the top off. Oh, yeah. See, I don't think I got all in there. Huh. See how it's not, no, it's not turning on. Yeah. Don't get it all the way in there. There it is. Now I got it. There, I got it. there it goes. Yeah, you gotta get that in there right or this light won't come on. So what I wanna do I have one game. Let's see I had a couple different games. It's supposed to be the funnest one. Species. One of those um So if there's no disc or if there's a disc and a cartridge it defaults to the cartridge not the disc I believe that's what it said I get oh I have a manual for this too so it should default to here and it's uh, 
Let's see what that lens is doing too. I swear it used to work. Huh. That's weird. Well, maybe because this is an activated. Hold on. Old brushes. Because now we're going to get back to this little thing over here. As if the door will close. That's what I want to do. Door's got to be closed. Oops. push that down that's working right here look so I'm getting this is how to get I can't really see it I'm just trying to make it as if the door closed which is right there see right there right, so it's like I see it's just like most of the, these discs that they have to see the game before they'll spin I believe that's what this one It's not spinning. This one's not spinning. I know I saw it spin once, though. <laughs> so. <laughs> so now I have to go further in now because it's. was working so I may have other issues with this one one of these discs I was spinning but just wasn't reading now it's reason why I find more of something games anyway. I will grab a different game. Oh well, I had no problem with the game before. Usually, I'm not sure what happened. I just want really need to make pressures. Okay, so that means that so the game is getting weird. I'm not sure why. Red screen's never good. was working fine before. No. Oh, I'm just not sure what's going on now. Kind of. This is a good person that I thought was all set. She make that noise and then she go.
There it goes. So these are, these are touchy though, you gotta... There's no way that was working. That's my morning. Maybe I did something when I was playing around with this. Maybe I did. Oh, that stinks. I want to stop there for now. And I'll figure out what I did. Or didn't do. I guess it's not working now at all. Because normally it'll default through that. Again, if you put this back on. But I'm going to wait. I'm going to take it on part. I know that motherboard was working better than this one. Let's stop there and we'll, we'll go from there. Pull those apart in a minute. 